Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, is there any sample code in c -sharp for reading the Azure Event Hub archive files in Avro format? Let's break down the question. The viewer is trying to use the Microsoft.hadoop.avro library to read Avro files, but is running into issues with deserialization. They've even created a custom event data class with data contract attributes, but they're encountering a serialization exception. So, why is there a lack of sample code from Microsoft for this specific use case? Let's explore the challenges and potential solutions together. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, to stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. To read Azure Event Hub archive files in Avro format using c -sharp, we need to start by ensuring we have the right libraries installed. The Microsoft.hadoop Avro library is essential for this task. Next, let's define our event data class. This class should match the schema of the Avro data. Make sure to use data contract attributes to ensure proper serialization. Now we can read the Avro file. Use the Avro container class to create a reader for the event data type. This allows us to deserialize the data from the archive file. If you encounter a serialization error, it may be due to mismatched schemas. Ensure that your event data class accurately reflects the Avro schema you dumped earlier. Finally, while there may not be extensive documentation from Microsoft for this specific use case, community resources and forums can provide valuable insights and examples. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To read Avro files in C-sharp, you can use the Microsoft.hadoop.avro library. Start by defining a class called event data to represent the structure of your data. When reading the Avro file, use a generic reader to iterate through the records. For each record, create an instance of event data to access its properties. You can extract the sequence number, body text, and properties from each event data instance. For more details, check the link provided. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To read Event Hub archive files in c -sharp, the user encountered issues with both Microsoft.hadoop.avro and Apache Avro libraries, receiving garbled data. The problem was due to the deserializer not accounting for the file's header and schema. The solution involved using the Apache Avro library's gen tool to create a C-sharp class from the JSON schema. Then, a data file reader was used to read from the stream correctly. Here's a code snippet demonstrating how to open the data file reader with the schema instance. This allows for proper deserialization of the event data.
The generated c -sharp class includes properties for sequence number, offset, and queued time UTC, system properties, properties, and body, ensuring all necessary data is captured. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.